All right, listen up. It is early to mid fall. I've been finding a lot of bulbous honeys today, a lot of puff balls, a couple stink horns. And I don't know if I've ever seen this color, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Try to get it out of here. Nice. What is this little guy? <laughs> it's really vibrant. I don't know if it's translating the brown of the honey ones. All right, let's look into this. So you take a picture of your specimen and then it gives you a few different options. You select one and then you can compare the above picture, which is yours, to the below ones from people that have previously, quote, identified, end quote, the mushroom. So there's a couple they gave me here. Um, if you select one and then scroll down, it gives you all sorts of different information, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a heat map up there you saw. And uh, it looks like this... What? What? And no, I didn't smell radishes. Maybe my specimen wasn't too radishy. Maybe I misidentified the mushroom, which is completely reasonable to think. The point of the app is it gives you a good starting off point, but always keep in mind, never eat anything you find. Even experts often get it wrong. It's very difficult to identify mushrooms. I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough. All in all, guys, I do recommend the app. Just take everything with a grain of salt. Thanks for watching.